difficult. And that's the nice thing about Nevin. All of the things that he makes, you too can make quite easily at home. Okay, now we have a real treat for you. We're going to bring you back, really, I suppose for the most part, to your primary school days where you were sitting and you were reading in your history books about all of the trials and tribulations of this country and the, the heroes and the patriots and all of the things that they did. And uh, we have some of their accoutrements, if you like, which are very kindly brought in to us in Open House this afternoon by Dr. Pat Wallace, who's the director of the National Museum. Pat, you've got wonderful stuff with you today. I hope so, Mary. Oh, uh, yeah, really. They're all really historical nice. items connected with sort of patriotic figures, as you mentioned there, from our history. And they all, of course, have a sort of a common thread in that they're Collins Barracks kind of display items. And are these all on display in Collins Barracks? They mostly are. I, I'll explain which is all as right. we go through. And I presume you got them from different sources over oh, the yeah, years? Oh, yeah, over the last, uh, mainly since the 1916 War of Independence period, we acquired, for instance, the Brother Allen collection. That was a 1916 collection. Some of that's here. But we also have stuff going back to Daniel O'Connell, Robert Emmett, right. and even to Wolf Tone. Okay, well, let's start over there with the, 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 that's the cap. The, yeah, that's uh, General Richard Mulcahy, Dick Mulcahy, Michael Collins' right-hand man uh, who took over the army commander-in-chief in 1922 when Collins was shot and Col uh, Mulcahy took the barracks he took Collins barracks named it the it was the royal barracks he named it Collins barracks in memory of his friend and that's the hat or the cap free state cap of General Mulcahy himself. And he was commander-in-chief for, for a while, wasn't it, for about 18 months? Yes, uh, until 1923, and after that, the, the cap, and this is a very improvised type design cap, it, des it changed uh, after that, mm -hmm. but a uh, historic figure nonetheless. And that was given to you by the, his family? By right? Richard and the family, uh, pres presented us with a lot of Mulcahy memorabilia. Yeah, it's wonderful to have it. It does bring you back, doesn't it, it, it to does. those, those troubled times? A kind of forgotten man, really, a bit, and he, he shouldn't well, be. Well, in the shadow of Collins. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, the, the next piece. The next piece is. Back. Yeah, it's even more historic Gosh. than Mary. It is an amazing item. This is Wolf Tone's pocketbook. And the remarkable thing about it is it's signed by Tone the day before he died. And there's a Latin inscription there. I'll use my altar boy Latin. Yeah, on go it. on. It's a uh, Te nunc habitat. habitat Ista secundum, which means, th which means uh, for you now ha have it secondarily. He was giving it to somebody who would own it as a second-hand item. That's very good, Pat. Yeah. Your uh, your altar boy Latin has stood you in good stead. <laughs> Don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> and but he had a gruesome death, didn't he? He had, and there's a kind of controversy about that. Did he put himself to death? Did he cut his throat? Uh, I, incidentally, that happened also at the site of what is now Collins Barracks. Mm -hmm. But or did he? Was he actually? Uh, killed or murdered by some uh, compliant surgeon or doctor, uh, he d certainly died of a complication connected with blood poisoning. Oh. And the pocketbook, that would have been where he kept his papers and, and money? And That's is right. that what the pocketbook yeah. was for? It's a very intimate it's object very well and preserved, very isn't it? beautifully written just the day before he died. Yeah, sort of thing, yeah, a historic yeah. item. Gosh, it's amazing. That yeah. it is, uh, Great figure for time. Republicans. But we have something for the, the other side as oh well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not yet, though. Not yet, <laughs> no. This, this thing here now. <laughs> this is a very dangerous looking weapon here, literally. <laughs> this is a blunderbuss, and it was owned by the great Wicklow 1798 man who held out.